Hello world, this is Lock Picking Dev. Today I have a 40 millimeter fortress padlock and we already have it grubbed and gutted. So, um, well, not gutted yet, but uh, easily guttable now um, as soon as we pick the sucker open real quick. And that feels solid. Oh, there's our open right there. <laughs> so, as you can see, uh, very quick, easy open, probably just knock stuff right in place. Um, like the other ones I've gutted, um, I can tell what kind of actuator it is. It's that, uh, that fulcrum type there, so I'm going to go ahead and close this that way. Um, I know when I remove the, um, uh, the plug, oh, the, um, the actuators would fly into the uh, shackle, shackle hole area. So that is my re retaining screw there. And now to remove the grub screws and pins. Pin one wants to be stuck. We tell it no. Pin two. There we go. Pin three. In. Okay, so now that we're most of them are out, you can see the spring pressure is kind of pushing the the keyway backwards a little bit, so the key pins aren't quite lining up anymore. That's from the actuator in the back. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and remove uh, pin four here. The driver will probably be the spring and the driver are probably the only ones that come out because of the way the keyway is turned. There we go. Actually, there is our pin. So now just pin of four needs to come out. Come on, at least the spring. I don't want to get that caught in there. If it falls down on accident, I want that happening. As I'm removing the plug. Oh, you bastard. Don't tell me you're caught in the keyway. I wonder if this thing's combable. I'll have to cut and come back afterwards <clears throat> and let you know. Yeah, it is stuck in the damn keyway, damn spring. There we go. So spring flew out somewhere, or that was really odd. I got the driver pin out before the spring. I wonder if it just bounced back in or something that split second. That was weird. I don't know. We'll continue. There we go. And we can see our key pin. There we go still stuck in the hole. So as we can see, our federal, or no, our, not our federal, holy shit, way different here. Our little Fortress 40 millimeter here only has standard pins in it. And here's the, um, the plug. So it does have the grooves on the side sometimes you see. And a little bit shaved off on that side as well. There's the back. And just like the other ones, I've uh, gutted a lot of them. It has that, um, this style right here of, come on, focus for me. There we go. This style of um, actuator to where the tailpiece fits in like that. And then you turn it and then it's the way it should be. And then when you completely turn it, that left side will move up and the right side will move down. And that's what opens our lock. Before we go, I did want to demonstrate that this fortress lock is combable. So I've been trying to do that and check locks more often. That way we can show which ones are combable and which ones are not. All right, there is our fortress padlock. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.